So in this video, we are going to get ahead of a misconception about voltage that a lot of students run into that will start tripping you up as we start analyzing circuits with multiple resistors. And the important point here is that voltage is measured between two points. Remember that voltage is a potential difference. So when talking about a circuit with multiple voltage voltages, we have to be very careful about which two points we are referring to. So going back to our super simple circuit with just a single battery and a single resistor, with this circuit, we usually just talk about the voltage. When I'm, when I'm narrating the videos, I'll say the voltage of the battery, the voltage drop across the resistor. And since this is just a simple circuit with these two components connected like this, the voltage of the battery is equal to the voltage drop across the resistor. However, if I put two resistors in series, it's not now immediately apparent what I mean if I say the voltage of this circuit. Because remember that voltage is actually measured between two points. So I could pick any combination of different points in this circuit. So I'm going to label a bunch of different points here. And I'm gonna label these points A, B, C, D, and E. And if you've been paying attention to the earlier video about circuit diagrams, you might realize that, wait a minute, some of those points, even though they are physically or geometrically different points on the diagram, they are electrically equivalent. For example, points A and B here are just connected by a zero resistance wire. So electrically, those are actually just one point. So I'm going to redraw my diagram over here and see that really electrically, I just have three points or nodes, which we'll talk about a little more in the next video in this circuit that we care about. Node, node or point A, B, and C. And again, that's because these points over here on the battery are electrically the same as point A and point C. So voltage is measured between any two points. So I can actually talk about three different voltages that I could measure in this circuit. I could measure the voltage between point A and B, which I would denote as V, A, B, I can measure the voltage between point B and C, which I would call V, B, C, or I can measure the voltage between points A and C, which I would call V, A, C. So you can't just look at this circuit and say the voltage because it's not immediately clear which one of those voltages you're talking about. Now, if you are given a word problem or you are talking to somebody about the circuit or you're given a circuit diagram with some labels, then you might have to carefully interpret that information to make sure you know which voltage you're talking about. For example, say that the diagram is labeled with a battery voltage V bet. So I can tell from my diagram that that battery voltage is gonna be equal to what I've labeled as V A C here. And for example, I also have resistors R1 and R2. Say if somebody refers to the voltage drop across R1, then the way I have labeled things here, that is going to be the voltage VAB. Similarly, the voltage drop across R2 is gonna be what I've labeled VBC. Now, you have to be careful when people ask about the voltage at a point. So for example, what if I say the voltage at point A or the voltage at point B. What does that mean? And you might say, wait a minute, you just told me that voltage is always between two points, so it doesn't make any sense to ask about the voltage at a point. And this is where we need to introduce the concept of a ground or reference voltage, which we're going to talk about in a little more detail in a future video. But for now, the idea is that just kind of like with elevation, you need to define somewhere as zero or you need to define sea level. We need to do the same thing with voltage. Since it's always between two points, we need to decide which of those points is going to be zero. 99% of the time in a circuit with a single battery, that point is defined as the negative terminal of the battery. So that is what we are going to call zero volts, which Again, I've drawn that over here, but in this circuit, that is electrically equivalent to point C. So when we ask about the voltage at a point, it is implied that we mean relative to ground or zero volts. To 
to ground or at zero volts. So in this case, when we ask about the voltage at point A, we are really, really asking about the voltage between points A and C or VAC. Similarly, when we ask about the voltage at point B, it's implied that we mean this voltage relative to ground or zero volts, which as we've labeled them is VBC. So again, you can see I've written out a bunch of different phrases here, which I usually don't do in these videos, because you have to be very careful which voltage you're talking about. So for example, if somebody gives you the circuit and asks you to solve for the voltage drop across R1, you wanna make sure you don't solve for the voltage drop across both resistors, or VA, which is reference to ground, that's gonna give you the voltage drop across R1 and R2. You need VAB. You might also see, depending on the textbook or website or video you're looking at, voltages with a single subscript. For example, I could write VA, and that means what I wrote over here, the voltage at point A implied that it's reference to ground. So in this case, with the convention I've used, used here, I could write, for example, VAB is equal to VA minus VB, because I am calculating this voltage as the difference between these two points. Both of these voltages are measured reference to ground, so this is kind of redundant, but you could think of this as writing VAB equals VA minus zero, because it's ref the difference between ground, which I've defined as zero volts, minus VB minus zero. So obviously those zeros don't do anything, they just cancel out. But that's another way of thinking about this. The difference between these two points is the difference between the voltages at those two points as referenced to ground. And finally, I'm kind of running out of space at the bottom of the slide, so I'm gonna loop back to the top here. One more convention you might see is a subscript on the voltage corresponding to the part in the circuit it's referring to. So for example, I might use VR1 to refer to the voltage drop across R1. And again, like that is just a different convention, different subscript, but as I've drawn it in the circuit here, that is mathematically equivalent to VAB or VA minus VB. Three different ways of writing the same thing, different ways of saying it. I wanna cover all of this not to confuse you, but to make it very clear that you need to be extremely careful when analyzing a circuit or talking about a circuit to remember that voltage is measured between two points and always be sure you know which two points you are referring to when explaining something about the circuit or doing math involving the circuit.